In this video, it's about to be a smoke session. Yeah. What's popping, y'all? What's popping? Get into this. I mean, if you follow me on Snap, look at my hang time. Look at my hang time. Hey, and I could put it in the bun. And I could put it in the bun. <laughs> I got my edges back. <laughs> That's my bitch. Yeah, that's B. I love you, girl. I mean, you sh I'm sure you're not watching this, but she used to follow me on Instagram. I don't know if she still does. But you know, motherfuckers be moving on up. <laughs> and they be trying to change their timeline. So, I heard word on the street, what? Okay. That y'all want another smoking video. So, this is my blunt for the day. Well, not for the day. It's probably, I usually, if I'm by myself, I can do two blunts a day or a blunt in half. So, I usually like smoke a little bit of this. Put it out. Smoke a little bit. Put it out. Save that ghetto blessing, sis. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with this hitter. I love this hitter. I have a little surprise for y'all in the next video because somebody sent your girl something to reveal. It's a little toy somebody sent your girl. And this came with it. <laughs> somebody sponsored your girl. You see that? Somebody sponsored your girl. Somebody sent your girl some free products. Yes, we ain't gonna talk about that in this video. I love this hitter. So cute. Where your blunt at? I'm going to wait for you. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your blunt. I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. Where your drink at? Where your cocktail at? If you don't smoke, I'm going to wait for you. Go pour up, sis. Hold on. Wait, wait. Because some of y'all looking a little young. Pull out your IDs. No, not today. Let me see everybody's ID. Let me see. All right. 21. You just made it. Come on in. Did that, that say 18? Come here, girl. Come here. Let me see. That's 18, baby. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Maybe you can stay. You just got to watch from outside the club, okay? Because <laughs> you're so young to get in. <laughs> Are my grown folks, where you at? What you drinking on? What you smoking on? You using a hitter? You doing a dab? You using a vape? You smoking a cig? You doing a black and mouth, sis? You still on the black? I see you. Ratchet to the fullest. You still on the motherfucking black and mouth. I don't care what nobody say. Black and mouths is some hood ass shit. I'm sorry. It's hood ass shit. So today, y'all, what we gonna talk about today? Now, y'all probably like, why you got them glasses on? Let me let y'all know a little story real, real quick. I had lost my license, right? And I'm going out of town for two weeks and then in three days I leave. In three days I leave out of town. By the time y'all see this, yeah, I probably left. <laughs> Two days ago, I lost my fucking license, so I had to go to the DMV and just get a replacement a replacement license, right? Five dollar holla. I treat the DMV like I treat the nail salon. I be trying to be the first motherfucker there because if you, I don't know about y'all, but Chicago DMVs, girl, like, you gonna be in there forever. You might as well clock in. <laughs> you might as well clock in and get that paycheck, sis, because you're gonna be there a shift. And like I said, I tried to be there first. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm not even going to put no lashes on. I ain't going to do my brows. I ain't put makeup. None of that. I'm just about to go out and put on these glasses. You know, put on these glasses. Don't nobody got no, I ain't got no lashes on. It's just like that. So I'm thinking I'm good. I'm thinking I'm about to go in that DMV. Give me a little quick $5 holiday license place and call it one, right? Girl, I get to the front and Shorty told me, oh, go to that line to take a picture. I said, who? Who? Who's taking a picture? <laughs> Ma'am? Miss? Who? She was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Everybody has to take a new picture. I had no idea I was gonna have to take a picture today, y'all. When she told me how to take this picture, I was too through. I ain't even have no lip gloss, girl. I ain't got no lash on, no lip gloss, no brow, no... Girl, I ain't even got earrings on. I, when I say out here, girl, out here, thankfully, I still got a little cute little... 
boot natural beat sis because they tried to get you girl but it's still cute or whatever you know when you got that natural beat even without makeup without lashes without brow sis and I have brow, don't get it twisted, okay? These things are getting sick. Now that everybody's here, everybody got their drink, everybody lit they blunts and stuff, let me let me light now. We about to do today's topic. We're gonna talk about why I don't like going to clubs. Let me. Reasons why I don't go to the club, why I don't like clubs, you know? I'm that girl, yeah, y'all probably like, oh, you that girl, huh? You that girl who like, I don't do clubs. No, sis, I don't do clubs, all right? I don't do clubs, and I ain't acting like I'm too good for clubs. You know, I ain't acting like that or whatever. I just don't do clubs. And I feel like a lot of the reason why I don't do clubs is one of the main reasons why I don't do clubs is because I've bartended at clubs for a very, very long time. Outside of my work, my life is very peaceful. You know, very chill, very peaceful, very calm, you know, and when it is lit, it's a good chill lit, you know, like, it's very peaceful. So it's like, I feel like I've kind of outgrown the whole club thing. So when I go bartend, when I work, that is my club, okay? I do go if it's someone's birthday and I need to celebrate their birthday and they just happen to have their birthday at a club, then you might see me there and that's very, 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 very rare. I have to follow my babe and be her little trophy girlfriend on her arm, her little arm piece when she needs to go to some of these events, girl, I'm there. You know, there's clubs, there's lounges, there's bars, you know? Bars, lounges, and there's clubs. Clubs, clubs be too turn. Clubs be too turn for me, all right? I'm a person that can have fun anywhere. Anywhere, I can have fun anywhere. Wherever you take me, I'm gonna have a good time because I'm a loner, so I always have good times within myself, you feel me? So even if I don't want to go to the club or even though I don't go to clubs, when I get there, I'm not gonna be that girl in the corner looking like I don't wanna be there. I'm not gonna be looking like, girl, when are we going home? I'ma be shucking and jiving, getting my life, getting my drinks, having a good ass time, baby. I'm here now, <laughs> you know? Bitch, I'm here now. Shit, why do I have a good time? And they playing all my shit, yes! Like, so I know how to have a good time. I'm not that girl that's just like, I'm at a club, I wanna go. Like, if you gonna be like that, just don't go. One reason I don't like going to the club is because it's past my bad time. Now, mind you, I don't fall asleep until like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. But when I say my bedtime, once I get in my bed or once I get on this couch or once I'm in my house and I'm in that relaxed state, that state where it's just like I'm in my house, like I'm chilling. Once I get in that state and that state is usually, if I'm not already out, that state is usually like 8 o'clock, girl. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. That time is like 8 o'clock. After 8 o'clock, I'm chilling in the house. I'm kicking it. It's gonna take a lot to get me out. Because I don't know about y'all and where y'all from, but people don't start going out in Chicago until like 12 in the morning. 11 p.m. They don't start getting dressed until 10, 11, sis. I know in Cali, y'all got clubs that close down at like 12 or 1. Y'all got places that close down at 2. Our places stay open to like 4, 5, bitch. Bitches be in there at 9 p.m. drinking Jaeger bombs and then end up being there for brunch and never went home. How? <laughs> I just feel like personally, I just don't have the club spirit to want to get off my comfy ass couch at 10.30 p.m., get in the shower again and do my makeup and get dressed and that whole process take about an hour, hour and a half, girl. By the time we get, it's like, I just don't, I don't have that spirit. A lot of people have that spirit in them. You know, they wake up at nine o'clock and they be outside all the way till it's time for them to go to a club. They got a spare change of clothes in their car and their trunks is and they getting dressed at their friend crib and they kicking it. I'm like, girl, no, not I, not me. I can't do that. And then y'all have to understand I'm 32, so bitch, I don't get nothing there. But shit, I know a lot of 30 year olds are still out here getting their lives. I'm like, okay, sis. But see, I just get my life in a whole different way, in a whole different form, you know? Other things move me, okay? <laughs> this is the very reason that I enjoy day stuff, like brunches and day parties and festivals, because I'm a morning person. A lot of my energy is during the day. That's why I love going out to eat alone during the day or go out to eat with my babe, but just do stuff during the day. And girl, take my tipsy ass home at like three, four, five, and be able to chill for the rest. To me, that's life. 
To me, that's life, girl. Another reason I don't do clubs because I don't do lines. Chicago in the summertime is so fucking lit and so dope and the weather is so just bomb and it's so much stuff to do and we have like places where it's just strips of bars and restaurants and stuff like that. So to stand in a line, you know, during the summer where you got a drink in your purse, girl, you outside laughing, kicking it, smoking, shit, that's cool with me. But you should see some of these motherfuckers be dedicated, girl. It be cold as bricks. Cold as fuck. I don't know how bricks or fuck is cold, but it is, okay? Cold as bricks, cold as fuck. And these people be standing in these lines like this. Shit. Fucking about to die of hypothermia and shit. <laughs> I don't care enough about a club to stand on a club line. And that's why I say I go when there's part, when it's someone's event. You know, there, there's some type of express line. There's some type of no line. I don't even want to go to a place where it's a line, to be honest. I don't want it to be juking like that. I think when you get older, you don't really care. You don't want it to be too lit, you know? I don't care for stuff to be too lit no more, you know? <laughs> like, give me that chill lit. Give me that, you know, that grown lit. Hello. Y'all probably like, well, if you knew somebody, sis, if you knew somebody, girl, you would get in there. You would get it. You could call somebody. You could text somebody, have them come outside and get you. Girl, I don't know I got time to call it. Okay, like nah, and I'm not fucking no promoters, okay? I'm not fucking no owners. I ain't fucking no, no bodyguards, no front desk men, no none of that to get in no club for free, sis. It's crazy because when you get in the line, they'll tell you something, stuff. oh, at 10 p.m., it's gonna be $5. After 11 p.m., it's $20, okay? You get there at 10 p.m., but they don't open the doors until 10.59, and you the fifth person in the line. By the time you get up there, it's 20 fucking dollars. By the time the 30th person come up there, it's $40. How? Like, y'all be doing a lot. Another reason, I hate packed clubs. I hate packed clubs. Like, I'm a small girl, y'all. I'm in 5'2". I don't know how y'all see me through this camera. If you follow me on Instagram or Snap, I don't see what type of perception y'all get, but I am small. I am 5'2", 130, 32 pounds, girl. 5 fucking 2, bitch. I am big. Yes, baby. Get into this body. Hold up. 5'2", bitch. I'm a small girl. And I don't get claustrophobic with necessarily space, but I get claustrophobic with people. Like when there's so many people and then you all like that. I don't like that, okay? I don't like that. And I need to know where all exes are at. There was a club a long time, years ago here, um, where a whole bunch of people died in the fucking club because there was so many people in there. Something broke out in the club. Everyone's trying to get out the club. So people start like stampeding on each other. There were so many people that died. And I don't fuck with that. It's too much going on. It, sometimes club, it be too much going on for me in clubs, you know? Like especially nowadays, girl, I ain't got time. A big reason. Hangovers are fucking real. I cannot, I mean, I could just, I can drink still. But see, when I drink now, I pace myself, you know? I pace myself. When I was younger, I could drink, 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 and I would not get a fucking hangover. Now, sis, I'll get a clean hangover on that ass. I'll get a clean fucking hangover, and them hangovers be real. When I get a hangover, I'm out for the next day, the whole day. I'm not getting out the bed. I'm done with. I'm not going to work. I'm done with. You hear me? Every time I go to a motherfucking club, like, first of all, when I, like I said, when I go to a club, I go in and I be getting my life. I dance, I drink, a song come on, I'm getting my life. Do you hear me? I'm giving you all type of 16 counts, girl. Save the last dance, who? <laughs> Save the last dance, what? You couldn't tell me I wasn't one of them Instagram dancers, girl. I be, I be dancing, I be drinking, I be yelling, I be screaming, I be singing, girl. I wake up the next fucking day, I feel like somebody beat my ass. Like, I be sore. <laughs> like, I be, feel, I be waking up the next day hungover as fuck and so sore that I feel like I just got jumped by seven bitches from the west side, girl. Dragged, okay? Like, they just dragged my ass all through up and down fucking um, Chicago. That's why I be feeling like, like, I, I don't get old. I, and I don't be stretching, and I don't be working out. Who's texting me, guy? Another reason I don't go to clubs like that is because I feel like bodyguards and stuff like that, like, they automatically treat you like some little thotty, you know? They automatically give you like this, like, like you some club girl. It's like, first of all, sir, I don't do this, okay? I don't, I don't go to clubs, I paint and shit. I read books and shit, okay? 
I don't, this ain't what I do, okay? So don't be talking to me like I'm some type of thotty. I'm in a committed relationship, sir. <laughs> I'm an introvert, sir. I don't do this. Don't be treating me like you treat me with class. <laughs> And then that's another thing. I'm in a relationship, you know. Like I feel like maybe if my if my lifestyle was a bit different, um, if I was like a single girl, and I, I kind of not because I'm still gonna be like this introverted person that will probably have my own apartment and just deck it out with my own like painting studio, my crafting studio, and some shit, and it'd be lit. Like I'll have like some dope ass single girl pad or whatever. But if I was like a whole different person, had a whole different lifestyle, was single, had tons of girlfriends and stuff like that, maybe. You know, maybe that would be my thing, you know? But I'm happy it's not my thing. I'm happy it's not my thing. I just feel like y'all be, some people be cheating themselves. They be cheating themselves out of a good time because there's so many other good things to do where you don't have to wake up the next day and forget, forget what happened. You know, where you can have some good conversations, some good times, be laughing a lot, enjoying yourself, being active, listening to good ass music, girl, and feel good, you know? I don't know. I be thinking about the people that club like all the time, every fucking day, sis. You not a promoter. You not a bartender. You not a bottle girl. You just there. Like, girl, you don't get tired. <laughs> You don't get tired. You don't want to do something else. You don't want to go to a bomb ass play with some Jack Daniels. You don't want to get high and go to a bomb ass play. Ah! You don't want to fucking get some Hennessy and put it in a flask and go rollerblading down Lakeshore. What? You don't want to bring a wine glass over here, girl. We can take some of these canvases out the back, girl. I can set my painting stuff out here, sis. I can pour us some mimosas, have us some fruits and pickles and whatever, little appetizers. We can throw on some music and live our best lives. Open these windows and just relax. We ain't got to do the most, but we could chill and just, you know. I feel like people, it's hard to get to know people anymore. You know, how can you get to know a motherfucker in a club? You can't even say if a, a person is your friend for real. Because all y'all do is go to the club and get drunk together. It's easy to go out and have fun with people. But you don't, then you realize, like, I don't even know this motherfucker. <laughs> like, how do I know we really friends for real? <laughs> like, I'm sure there's a lot more that I can't think of at the moment. But I feel like we good. I feel like we good. I feel like... I feel like we kicked it a little bit. Y'all like these glasses, girl? I have no, like I was not prepared to do no videos or none today. I'm supposed to be cleaning up and still getting this house prepared for my trip or whatever. But anyway, if you have any more, um, you know, reasons why you don't like to go to the club and I didn't mention it, put in the comments below. Why don't you like going to the club? Or if you like going to the club and that's your shit, that's your thing, girl, tell me why. Tell me what be lit, girl. Because, I mean, when I go, I have a good time. But even afterwards, okay, I'll be like, okay. I can't see you. Okay. After, after one good turn up time like that, a club turn up, bitch, I'll be good for like three more months. Shit, I'd be good for a year if you if you let it. Wait, I love you guys oh so much. I promise you I will do more of these videos because I know you guys enjoy these videos oh so much. Be looking out for a new video for this dry herb vape. I have somebody sent me something. Oh my god, I did review. I'm so excited. Nigga, we made it. No, I just went. <laughs> And before I go, first of all, I want to say thank you to Darnisha. Darnisha has a channel on YouTube. Hey, girl, hey, you know I love and adore you. Um, what's so cool is she bought this, but she did not buy this for herself. She actually bought it for one of you guys. She just bought it to, one, support me and to pay it forward. Isn't that nice? So she's giving this to one of you guys. She said I can send it to one of you guys. I love her. I think that's so dope. And so many good things will come to her. Please, first of all, follow her channel because I watch her videos. I love her videos. I think she's just one of those very real, authentic, genuine people. I only want the people that's interested in this to respond to this. If you're not really going to use it, because I want somebody, because she paid for this, so I want somebody to have it that is going to really, really use it and really, really want it. So only DM me. So in order to get this, you have to DM me on Snapchat. I'm going to put my Snapchat right here. Use my freaking Snapchat. Go to my Snapchat. Tell me if we met, if we met and we had 24 hours to just kick it or do whatever, what would we do? What will we do? And whoever gives me an answer that I'm just really feeling at that time, 
that's the person that will get this lucky, 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 lucky journey. I love this journal. It's so cute. So black, so sleek, so pop of colors and tons of food and martinis. And I love it. It's just so cute. So, yes, go to my Snapchat. It's right here. DM me what we would do if we was able to, like, if you just had me to yourself. Don't be weird. Don't be crazy. Okay? Don't be weird. Don't be crazy. And thank you, Darnisha, so much for supporting me. I love you, girl. You're the bomb.com. I would just kiss your face if you was here. Anyway, love you guys all so much. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.